What's going on, tubers? Now, today's video is kind of a rant, you know? Last couple of days, I've had pretty good days at work, and things been going good, I've been feeling pretty good in this and that. And I hope all you are feeling well, too. But society today has changed so much. The kids nowadays, it's just unbelievable. And I'm going to tell you, I, I was raised with the silver spoon in my mom. My dad and mom, you know, we was never poor. My dad worked his hump off to give us what we wanted. Excuse me. My dad worked his hump off to make it able to, so we could have what we needed. All right? Just make this clear. You know, my dad gave me a 70 Mach 1. 1970 Mustang Mach 1. He gave that to me when I was 12 years old. 1978, I remember when we got the car. Spoiled rotten, ain't I? Just a punk ass little brat. You know? I mean, really, think about it. How many guys get a 1970 Mustang at the age of 12 years old? There's not too many of them. You know? But let me explain something to you. Not one time did I ever drive that car through high school, to high school, to the prom, nothing. You know when I got that car? I got that car when I graduated from high school. Yeah. When I graduated from high school and showed my dad that diploma, that's when I got that 1970 Mark 1. Yeah, I've had it since I was 12 years old. But I didn't get to enjoy it from school. But I knew. Once I got through school and showed my dad that diploma, I'd be, able, I'd be able to enjoy it. I remember driving my wife out camping in that car when she was pregnant with my first daughter. My oldest daughter. So yeah, anything that we got in our household, besides Christmas and our birthdays, we had to work for them. My dad either had a bump shop or a car lot. My dad always had something going on. If I wanted a dirt bike or a motorcycle or something like that, son, come here, let me show you how you can earn that dirt bike. So I was down there, my brother's dog, you know, they were old enough, they didn't cut the grass down there at my dad's boss's place anymore, so that was my turn, so I cut the grass. Kids nowadays, I don't know what it is. Either they don't want it, or it's not good enough for them, or it's not like the ones their friends have. I'm telling you, and the way the kids talk to their parents nowadays, wow, really? Man, I've been picking myself up off the ground, whether I talk to my mom or my dad. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What's going on? Stop at a gas station, these kids are coming to get the hell out of the way. They're in a rush. Well, you know what? Now, I'm going to take my time. Huh. You know what I mean? Kids nowadays growing up, they're not into going out and playing in the garage with cars or motorcycles or bicycles. I remember going garbage picking, picking up bicycle parts, putting them together. Putting them out front for sale. Selling them for $15 or $20, or whatever somebody would pay me for it. Stuff I found in the garbage, me and my friend we were garbage picking. You'd be amazed when you find garbage picking, especially back in those days. But, you know, I'm sorry, I, I probably maybe shouldn't even post this video. But kids nowadays, they're unaware of what's going on around them. The only thing that they're worried about is what their parents are going to give them. What they're going to get. You know, I go over to some of my friends' houses and their parents talk to them. I couldn't do it. My kids never, never, never disrespected me like that. And they're in there, I got, you know, my oldest son's 30 years old. You know, I mean, they mouthed off and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, all teenagers are going to do that. They never disrespect me like the kids disrespect their parents nowadays. You know, our government, they say, hey, don't whip your kids. 
it's against the law to whip your kids. Hey, I understand that there's some abusive parents out there that go too far. I understand that. But I'm going to tell you, my mom whipped my butt. I think I turned out okay. I'm not out robbing banks or trying to kill my parents or, you know, doing stupid stuff. I mean, hey, you live and learn, right? That's part of growing up. But these kids nowadays, they still have no respect for no their parents, no one. And they're not learning anything from their parents. They're learning it from their friends and from the streets. So, come on, people. I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. I mean, I, I, you drive down the road nowadays. These people's on their cell phones. They're not paying no attention to what they're doing or if they're driving. If the light's green, red, you know, they don't, they don't pay no attention. You know, and I have to admit, you know, a lot of this extends from the home. Their parents don't care what they do. Their parents give it to them on a golden platter. So a lot of this extends from home. Like I said, you know, I mean, uh, my kids, I'm going to tell you, they didn't like the clothes that we bought them. I said, hey, go get yourself a little job and buy your own clothes. If you don't like what I'm going to buy you, buy your own clothes. And they did. And they did quite well. All, all my kids have been working since they're, you know, they're little teenage years. They worked in a little pizza place sweeping the floor or Myers or whatever. I mean, they boys work, you know. Blue Sky, the car shows I take you to, my son, you know, my one son, he, he worked out there since the time he was like 12 or 13 years old, and he's 27, and every now and then he still goes over there to work, and he works in the same factory I do. But he enjoys the owners, and, you know, he does stuff for them, with them, so, you know, hey, so be it. But he makes a little bit of extra money. Hey, my kids ain't the greatest. I wasn't the greatest either. But, man, I'm telling you what. Nowadays, these kids, 19 years old, are getting shot because they're attacking people and breaking into people's houses. And then their parents are saying, well, why'd you shoot my son? Well, you know what? If you spend a little bit more time with your son, maybe this wouldn't have happened. You know? Hey, why is my daughter coming home pregnant at 13 years old? Really? Well, where have you been at in her life? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't even post this video, but it's the truth. When you get out on the streets and you're stopping at a gas station and you're seeing all this stuff going on and you see the news. I hate to turn the news on anymore. You turn the news on anymore and, oh my God, you know? Might as well just shut it off and go hide your head, you know? Hey, a lot of people talk about people carrying guns and this and that. Hey, I got my CPL and I care. You know why? Because I'm afraid of society. I'm afraid what's going to happen. I'm afraid what's, you know, somebody's going to carjack me. So, I mean, it, it's a shame to say this. You know, I shouldn't have to carry it because I shouldn't have to be worried about it. I'm worried about my family. My kids, they care. They all got their CPLs and stuff for my youngest daughter. And this is because she hasn't been through the class yet. She's not really interested. But one day she's going to get interested and she's going to figure it out. You know. So, but anyhow, you know, I hope everybody's doing well. You know, um, I shot a couple, you know, videos of Woodland Green Cruise and Ford Show. I took some pictures and put them up as a video on there. And, and Heinz Drive. So I hope you guys enjoyed those and hope things are everything's going well for everyone. Um, yeah, three few and Windsor I had for the Fairmont that I was gonna you know put in the Fairmont at first. I sold that. Um, 56 Ford I still got. My brother changed his mind and decided he just didn't want to mess with nothing right now. So it's okay. We'll see what happens. You know, uh, maybe I hit the lottery and I'll just build them off. I haven't really even tried to sell the Pontiac or nothing. I've I just been working and messing around over at the yard. I have to go out there, and, you know, I go out there every day after work and, you know, spend time with my dad and try to do a few things there, you know. Um, I did go out and get me some business cards made, so that's a, pro that's a positive. Uh, Fairmont, ain't no updates on Fairmont. I got rid of that little 
six on the motor took it to the yard. Uh, my garage is a mess. Everything's a mess because I've just been walking in here, setting stuff down and walking away from it because by the time I get home, I mean, it's so bloody hot, I don't want to do nothing, or I'm just tired. So, but anyhow, um, hope you guys are doing well. And that's probably about the third time I said that. And I'm trying to get some uh, stickers made to send you guys, but uh, the guy that does the stickers on YouTube there and that, uh, Facebook, he hasn't got back with me with a price or um, uh, a picture or anything yet of what the stickers going to look like. So, anyhow, hey, you guys take care. I got y'all in my prayers. Y'all take it easy and stay out of trouble. And, and watch out for these kids nowadays because you just don't know what they're going to say or do or ranch on some things. Anyhow, be good.